Good morning to you too. Hello everybody. Welcome. My name is Cecilia. This is Willow Cove Croft and this is where my family and I homestead in eastern North Carolina. We are headed out. Our animals have gone into a section of the woods, done their jobs. <laughs> and now it's time for me to do ours. Um, usually we take this on as a family, but I have a day before a big rain, hopefully a big rain, because we need rain. And I am gonna get this one done, I hope. First of all, I asked Corbin yesterday to make sure the chainsaw was in good working order. This morning when I checked, he said he had forgotten to do that, so hopefully the chainsaw's in good working order because I'm not gonna get this done without it. So I got the chainsaw, chaps, gloves, eye pro, couldn't find the ear pro to save my life and I hate the big helmet. So I guess I'll just go deaf doing this. <laughs> um, you could see over here what it looks like when we start. Sometimes we'll go knock a few trees down. We have to make pathways for the goat fencing. But um, this area right here is where the goats were last. And you can see they've moved back there into the woods. And we'll work on clearing that and we'll do the same thing. Every time we move them, we go in, clean it up, burn what's there, and uh, keep moving them. And then next year, we won't have to do this as much. We're gonna start, pretty much everything started on this. It's not even the half side, just side of the property. Um, but we have turned places like this into more usable, this is very recent, um, areas for the animals. So now that the animals have done their job, and Aspen's out there doing her job, I have to do my job, or at least start it. And we desperately need rain. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. So this is the only day this week that I can actually get in here and do this. I wanna see how much I can do by myself. I have to say, as much as I appreciate the tools, this is not one of my favorite jobs. Now, I like cutting up the wood. I'd rather just throw it around, but Tools and I don't seem to have a very good relationship. This is Matt and Corbin's job, but since they're at school and the other one, well, since Corbin's at school and Matt's working, it's now my job. And I have enough jobs. I feel like I shouldn't have to do this job, but instead of standing here complaining all day, just gonna do the thing. On. That should be. Okay, maybe not. Ah, I think I got it. That's better. Flip it here. You know in Tarzan, when he's swinging from vines, I used to think that was like just impossible, but after about five of these guys, you realize it's not impossible. I just spent about 20 minutes trying to get this down, but it's still stuck on some decent limbs all the way up there. The kids like to swing from them, so when one of them gets home from school or this weekend, I'll just have them play on it 
and it will eventually come down. I mean, these are, here, this is what they look like. They come out of the ground and ank root themselves, and then they crawl up, and if we cut them pretty far down, we'll cut the root system out. But, um, here, let me show you. They get almost as big as trees. This is not a tree. That's a vine. And I don't have small hands, so that shows you just how big. I can't get my hand all the way around. Those jerk face vines get, but it's time to let the chickens out. I'm gonna grab a drink of water and a cooler shirt. This would be lovely if it was 15, 20 degrees cooler, but it's not, and I'm hot. All right, so I almost got to my goal. I started on the other side of that pile, worked my way towards a new pile. About halfway there, I mean, all that's left is here. And then this is where the little path starts up. And we won't touch that till they're completely done in there. But I had to stop because that's not how that's supposed to go. And I'm not fixing chainsaws. I already explained this is not my job. So there. Just kidding. Um, but no, I really don't want to fix the chainsaw. So I'm going to just leave it here. I believe that Matt's on his way home. We have a very quick meeting with somebody at 2 p.m. Sent a text, asked him to get me a drink on the way back. He said done. So I don't know if that means he will be doing it or if he has done it and will be home. But he can fix that better yet. Maybe I can convince him to come out and help me finish this up real quick. He'll probably do that because he likes to play with chainsaws, unlike me. But, pig moving day, so while I can't do that, I might as well take you along while I move my piggies because I'm not going to move them the same way I usually would move them. I don't know what that chicken's problem is. She's just running around screaming. Are you looking for the ladies? Yeah, they're over there. Better hustle. Piggies, give me piggies! <laughs> hey guys. Good morning. You guys ready to move? From this to that. Oh yeah. So the regular rotational plan is to move them in sections. However, I have a little bit of a problem. With our pig water, our nipple water right here, which is working great after a modification, the pigs pulled a nip, the nipple off. Matt put a PVC pipe down inside that sits, we keep the water level well above that, um, and then he put a cuff around it, which holds it, and then he just did the silicone again and now it's super sturdy. So if you're gonna do a pig nipple water, definitely put something on the backside. It just made it so much stronger. So the other thing about this water is when it's full, of course, it's very heavy. And I only have so much hose that will reach here. I can probably get about yay far and no further. So the plan is to build a cart for this with two wheels, sort of like a dolly, so you can lean the cart back and just reel it to the next station and when it needs filled, dump it, bring it back, fill it up where the hose will reach and push it to its next destination. That is not built yet. So I'm just going to double the size of their paddock. I'm going to keep this side up so I can leave the water here, push the fencing down that way and just let them have a bigger area, which will work fine because then what I can do is just pull it around that way which is the next section they're gonna go in and um, probably just walk them from this one to that one. All right, so I guess they're called tap splices. They're a plastic insulator with this little metal piece. So the poly wire fits perfectly, one on each side of the hole. Then you close this over and I use a pair of pliers and crimp it down which pushes this piece of metal down and that carries the current all the way through. So. I think it's about five bucks for a pack of 20. You only get one use out of them. 
Um, I don't think it's bad. We don't use them all the time usually. I just have one consistent line, but I had to cut this to create the two lines to make consecutive paddocks. So I'm just gonna use it to put it back together. I've used it previously to connect the ends and it's worked great. So um, I think it'll work for this too. All right, got my single strand. It's just tied on, took it all the way around. One strand just has to buy me 10 minutes. Like I said, I think they're gonna be busy playing in the grass, so now I gotta get the other stuff down so they can go through. All right, well, we got four over here, two stragglers. I think if I just walk behind them, maybe that will encourage them. Right, this guy's starting to realize that that line is high. Hey, buddy. Everybody's decided to be on the fun side of the pen, except for the pig that I'm now calling Num Nuts. I've taken the fence down. There aren't even any posts, and he's still standing there. Come on, Num Nuts. Just cross the line, buddy. It's a whole big pen now. My best to explain something I don't understand. I mean, it's electrical current, right? Past the path of least resistance. So that's all I have to make. So, I'll cut this knot off right quick. It's easier. Right. I picked one that's malfunctioning. Let's try this again. Goes. Take four. Take five. Okay. Now the one's in that side. And I just take this across, make sure I'm going the right direction from this side. You know, a little sandwich. And then you clamp the little metal part. Nice and snuggy wuggy. Just like that. So it's not feeding time yet. The day basically went tits up. Our two o'clock changed to a six o'clock. My 2.30 took an hour to complete. Matt had to go to the sheriff's office. Then he had to pick up Corbin from track. But guess who's out here? He's gonna help me get done. So he's gonna chop Dee Dee. It's hopefully on her way. Yeah, there she is. There's my helper girl. <laughs> Come on, let's get it done. Okay, then we have somebody to pick up a rabbit and I have to go get pig feed. <sighs> We're gonna get this done. We're gonna get it done. It's a goal. We're getting it done.
was late to the party only because he was getting his chores done so that he can be available for the lady who's coming to pick up a rabbit since that's part of his duties. But look at that. Nice and messy piles so that when we are ready to light them on fire, they are good to go. We don't have to work very much that day, but watch fires. So I have to run in and take a shower before the six o'clock appointment thing. And I still have to go pick up pig food. And it's a little warm for this shirt still. I don't know why I stuck it back on. I thought it'd be cold. But anyway, thanks for joining us. Take care, be safe. Please hit that like and subscribe button if you would like to see more. And I'll see you on the next one.